Director of State for Budget and National Planning and Director General of Budget Office, Ben Akabweze, for parliamentary scrutiny. The minister gave a highlight of Nigeria's current debt profile. As of 30th of December 2019, the total uh, domestic debt stock was 18.378 trillion naira. As at the end of December last year, the total stock of the external debt was 9.022 trillion. The minister listed the projects under this proposed borrowing. This include COVID-19 support fund of $600 million, strengthening of health care system, $125 million and the establishment of comprehensive COVID-19 testing centers in all states of the Federation. From the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, 3.4 billion US dollars. This is a facility that has an interest rate of 1% and a tenor of five years with a grace period of three years. The COVID-19 pandemic has ravaged everywhere. I think the need to hard need to revise our budget and the funding has to be provided. The minister and her team also appeared before the Senate Committee on Finance, this time alongside the Accountant General of the Federation, Comptroller General of Nigerian Customs Service, Chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, where she briefed the committee on the rationale behind the revised medium term expenditure framework. 2020 to 2022 and fiscal strategy paper. Are we saying that $25 is the appropriate figure, benchmark that should be used? We wanted to be conservative and we projected a lower price for the whole year of $25 uh, per barrel. Why is Nigeria cost of production of this a barrel of our crude oil? Is the most expensive in the world. Um, security is quite a, a, a huge chunk of the um, of the cost that we see, uh, whether for the OPEX or for the CAPEX. The minister also informed the committee that the federal government has cut down expenditures of most of its ministries, departments, and agencies from the National Assembly. Ignatius Unquo, NTN News.